rise and shine, students, for another beautiful day here at Hope's Peak Academy. My name is Mark Man. Hello. Welcome back. I'm Paul Guy. Bitchakia. Bitchakia is a bitch. I was trying to think of like a... <laughs> Celeste's an asshole. All right. Last episode, Taka became Ultra Instinct. He became uh, something. And, uh... Yeah, and now we're, uh, I don't know what we're doing. So, I need to tell everyone what happened with Taka yesterday. That's what we're doing. Let's go to the dining room. Let's go to the dining room. Get ourselves some food to stuff in our face. Some pancakes and some eggs, no. baby. Oh. Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the only one here? Where's everybody else? Uh, they went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, come on. <laughs> we can't talk. We can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Oh. Whoa. Bath? Yeah, you know, you put water on you and stuff. Oh, I'm just going to take you there. All right. Well, whoa. Oh, everyone's in here. Yeah! <laughs> Someone help! <laughs> Fumi, what's going on? Ah, Mikado, save me! I've never asked you for anything, uh, but I'm asking now. What, what happened? Uh, she's she's trying to kill me. Hifumi pointed at. Of course. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you. Hey, don't kill. Uh, <laughs> don't. I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. Ooh. What? The same mistake? What did he do? So... I know what he did. We all know what he did. He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. When I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and... <laughs> what, what were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work... Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. Ah! Please don't kill me! I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct oh, you. Which is worse than death. <laughs> See, he's breathing crazy now. <laughs> oh, is there something green on the ground? Um, Fume, uh, can you tell me what... Oh, sorry. Um, Fume, <laughs> can you tell me what happened? Well, uh, well uh, I was just talking. Which was prohibited, was it not? I, I mean, you, you see, uh, talking to her was just so much fun, and I just... Ju uh, um. Whoa. Okay, time out. I can't even believe I'm about to ask this, but... Ifumi, you're not going to tell us you fell in love or something, are you? <laughs> that I... The cold-blooded killing machine of the underworld would ever fall in love? Well, That's... Wait. No way, wait! Is this love? According to the spirits, I happened to do a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. And that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. Your eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. No, nothing. Shut up! She's not a mannequin! She's an angel! And, and don't bother telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Yeah, yeah you're totally in love. So, how did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning... Oh my god. Do we have to know? I just wanted to hear her say, <laughs> Master, ah! one more time. But but then I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, uh, how can I say? Uh, it was the first time I, I I was ever able to talk like that uh, with a normal girl. She's, first of all, she's not a girl. She's a man. Chihiro was a man, not a girl. So that confuses me. The other person who we spoke to was Mondo on the computer. He's a he's a man. He's not a girl. Is it maybe who uh, Junko? Maybe talking to Junko? Maybe she's in there. Do you think? Oh sh. Because she yeah she brought out Mondo so maybe somehow he figured out how to bring up yeah. 
Because either he, Ma, either Junko or Sayaka. Because la, even last episode, I thought it was weird because he said she again. Yeah. And Shihiro is not a. I wonder if he knew about this laptop before anyone else. Oh man. Because he kind of started off calling it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh my god. It, it's it, the details. It was the first time I. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even we. Even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, Hifume. Unless he is talking to Chikuru. Mm -hmm. Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose. Uh huh. It's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself, like my hair. It's uh, that's like... why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, uh, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, uh, even her keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> even the keyboard? I think you have misunderstood the situation, Haifumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Eagle is not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence that exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You are an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about for what it was that was worth. Honestly. Alter Eagle wants that information. That is all. I know that. Uh, I know. I mean... I do know that, but still, are you saying it's totally hopeless, or...? Oh. You gotta be freaking kidding me! That sounds like Mondo. Yeah. Or is... Oh, no, it's hey, not. you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber-jabber about whatever! Oh, my God. Oh, Taka, are you back? Who the hell's Taka? Um, uh, you? Listen up! I'm me! Got it! Uh. You're who? What? Don't bullcrap me! <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I, I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo. So, uh, like, uh, Kiando, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. What the, what the heck kind of fusion is this? Oh, what happened to you, Taka? Uh, uh, actually, I told everyone what had happened the day before. Well, Oh, because of what Alter Ego said to him. Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh... The ghost? No, th 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 there's no such thing. What are y'all whining about? Come on! God, you're really cheesing me off. <laughs> hey, Hafumi. Uh-huh, yes? I don't know what you're thinking, but... Bro belongs to me! Huh? Yeah. Oh. Alter Ego. He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm not gonna let anyone else have him ever again. Fudge an idiot. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid I, I can't allow that. What? <laughs> I, I can't withdraw. Uh, Mr. Ishimaru, uh, since I have this opportunity, uh, let me say this right now. I'm sure of it. Destiny has bound me and her together in the Gordian Knot of True Love. Well, me and him have been melded together in the white hot heat of friendship. And kissing. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, guys, c come on, guys. Moron! Talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right in all four of your vital points. I'm lightheaded. <laughs> well, I punch at the speed of sound and I don't have any arm hair, so there's no drag! <sighs> Knock it off, both of you. This doesn't belong to any one person. Chihiro left him to all of us. We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Yoko's right. Anyone dares disturb our peace any further, they'll have to deal with me. <laughs> oh. 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 Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? 
I can't hear you. Here you go. Uh, yes. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, pardon me. Okay, then. Let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Are you sure it's okay to let him off with a warning? Oh my god, pardon me. Yes, I have a plan. I'm going to murder both of them tonight. But I'm going to keep it to myself. It'll be fine. I'm going to glue their door shut. <laughs> After watching Hufumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to our rooms. I don't know, Taka looks pretty heated still. I mean, he looks after, great. You know, so. It's still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Oh, you boring wuss. Uh, anyway, I'll just have to pull myself together. So what should I do with the rest of my day? Oh, you got some free time. All right, so. You probably only get like one round. Oh, well, well, actually, no, this is a continuation of the last one. Yeah, so let's see what No, it's not. No, it's not. It's new day. Yeah. So we got mineral water. We don't got this anymore. Yeah, right? I gave up the you. coffee. Coffee. Ration. Sunflower. Yeah, it says if we have them. I see. Everlasting bracelets. Scarab brooch. Yeah, there's some items in the GBTK t shirt. I just want to see what else we have. A quality chinchil chinchilla. Like an animal? What? Well, if you hit it, it'll give you. A r dark red seat cover. Its refined design is intended for only the most elite clientele. Sounds like a we gift have, for uh, we have two of them. your best friend. Cherry blossom bouquet. Ray gun. Created with high tech future technology, a single shot can melt every molecule in a fully grown human. There aren't any batteries though, so you can't fire it. Uh, that would have been a good gift for Chihiro. But maybe Haifumi too. Yeah, I was thinking Moon Rock. The fun, the fun place. place! Oh, this the newest is definitely Haifumi. Portable games is yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out with them. Alright, have fun. Maybe they'll tell me. Why he thinks Chihiro's a girl, still. I don't think they're going to cover it. Uh, uh, that's going to be like... Oh, hey, hey! Hey! There he is. What up? Let me tell you about my round friend. His name's Hafumi. <laughs> uh, yes? Did you need something? If you don't have any business with me, please leave me alone. Hmm. <laughs> no, we're hanging out. We're hanging out with you, buddy. Are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I'm just really exhausted. But I do appreciate it. It's nice having friends to check up on you. Yes. I spent some time with Hafume. It was probably just him talking about yeah, it all might... the Hafume yeah. stuff. Hafume and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? Yep. Yes. That's cute. Buddy, I bet you you're going to love this. <laughs> you're just going to love this. Hold on, let me just get past all the not items we have to get to it. There it is. Fun the fun plane. place. A fun plane. <laughs> so you thought this would please me, huh? You thought this. This would? <laughs> uh, I get the impression that he liked it. That's good. Sure. <clears throat> now then, this time, would you like to learn about one of my many legends? Oh, God, sure. Your legends? <laughs> Naturally. You don't become the ultimate fanfic creator without a few legends sprouting up around you. <clears throat> one such legend is how, in middle school, I was able to convince the school to create a fanfic club. No. And from that day, I exposed myself and my fanfic to the world at large. Is that what you call it? <laughs> By the way, do you happen to know what all my work is based on? My flagpole! S -s oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, no idea. Yes, well, Sorry, surely but... you heard of a highly acclaimed anime, Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. the camera. Mm -hmm. Now, you might think that would sound totally cliche, but she would be wrong! I don't simply copy the pretty girl princess pug piggle style. I took a total meta sci-fi approach. My perspective was seen as quite odd, of course, but if you really look at what I was doing, my version of Princess Piggles was the total antithesis of the new wave sci-fi movement. In fact, I was it was my response to J.G. Ballard's speculative fiction stylings. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my geekdom is leaking out again. I apologize. It's leaking? Anyway, 
Unlike most fans, I never saw Princess Pickles as your typical Mo anime. Yeah, definitely got that impression. <clears throat> but I oh, but I can't believe you were able to single-handedly persuade the school to let you make a club. <laughs> ho ho! That's because I bribed them with a cut of my profits. Profits? And I've only gotten better at it! I'm blowing up! Now then, up till now, I've always focused on taking part of Princess Piggle's single setting events. Single setting? Good lord. Oopsie daisy. Single setting? <laughs> That's you checking your watch. <laughs> it's when a circle gets together to come up with a project or event focused on only one show or series. So a Princess Piggle single setting event would only allow works involving Princess Piggles. See? Such alliteration. On the flip side, if there's no restriction on the number of properties, do you know what that that's called? A single setting event only allows material from one show or series. And the opposite of is when anything is allowed. So, uh, a, a fan jam? Is it a fan jam? Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> uh, um, is it like a fan jam or something? <laughs> Ugh, this is why I hate newbies. <laughs> Perhaps you're thinking of Game Jams, which, while interesting, is an indie dev specific. Get it right, or pay the price. Uh, okay. Okay. Jeez. <clears throat> a single setting event only allows material from one show or series. And the opposite of that is... So when I guess it's a free-for-all. A free-for-all. There we go. The opposite of a single setting event, is it just called a free-for-all? <laughs> that is absolutely right. There are actually plenty of free-for-all events every year, and yet... More and more slackers are showing up with no idea what fanfic really means! It's so annoying! So, in order to crush these peons with all, their, all my might, I'm going to start taking part in more free-for-alls! Crush them? That doesn't sound very friendly. Pardon me. I don't. Uh, I don't participate in these. Oh, sorry. I don't participate in these events to make friends, <laughs> and I cannot forgive those lazy bastards. Uh, and don't tell me to ignore them. If you let some little wimp survive, you'll regret it later. Play any RPG where the villain spares the hero when he's level one, and what happens? Boom! Dead. I, I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. Mm -hmm. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog industry where only the most brutal survive. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to start you off easy by getting the, by getting involved in some simple cosplay action. Huh? I'm going to get involved? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Didn't you say cosplay? <laughs> You're a pretty good-looking guy. <laughs> if your costume was decent enough... I might even let you work my booth. <laughs> so I mean, his voice, his voice is like, okay, back, back to his voice. There you go. I bet you can't even net yourself a magical girl harem. So with that in mind, let's change the word of fanfic together. What does this even mean? We better have gotten something good from that. Okay, Yay. skill points. Cool, great, awesome. I probably looked like I was running, <laughs> running away as I went back to my room. Oh, uh, same. <laughs> oh wait, we got another time. Oh, we got more free time. I have some time, yeah! All right, cool. So, who do you want to? Oh, so you said I should look around. Wait, what? Uh, all right. I'm gonna find if there's any exclamation marks, and if they're not, I'm just gonna maybe one of my characters, so that way. <laughs> Your voice kind of. Right. All right. I could tell it's going a little, little, little horse. Little, little horsey. Little horse. Um, Who would you want to talk to? Hmm. No. <laughs> uh, honestly, no. I feel like. Oh, is she not here? Who? Her. Who's her? Uh, Celeste. Well, that's not Celeste. Celeste is the Gothelito. The, um, um, you, hold on. White hair girl. Oh, Kyoko? Where are you, Kyoko? That's, that's, that's definitely not that's Kyoko. Not her, so. <laughs> so she's probably somewhere on this floor. That's, yeah. 
So you just gotta go find her. What 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 is the the run button? A, uh, B. B. Oh, there she is. Oh, it's Hiding right behind you. She's going in for the kill. <clears throat> just a second. What's the matter? Why are you bouncing around like a little rabbit? Don't you have anything to do? Hmm. Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yes. There's no reason to decline, and I'm not the type to decline anyway. I... Oh, she's Bes blushing. Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. Oh, heads up, girly do. <laughs> Wanna go back to your room, maybe? <laughs> well, you spent some time with Kyoko. She seemed okay. She wasn't, Kyo like, mad or nothing. Kyoko so. and I grew a little closer today. Let's give her a present. You want to give her some? What could we possibly have? Uh, let's have some water. Or a ration, maybe? I'm gonna go... the Ever I want to give the everlasting bracelet to... Oh, that's a hero, right? Yeah. Seems like a... Moon rock. Maybe the moon rock is uh, the second button. Can I... What is that? The button from a school uniform which increases in value at graduation approaches. That seems like a taco thing. Someone's graduation album. Pumice. Oh, also oh, water. Flute. Water flute. Sure. Yeah. Sure. What is it? <clears throat> a unique type of flute. You pour water into the base and blow into the top, which can create a variety of sounds. Similar to a chirping bird. Yeah. Okay. That's disgusting. It's <laughs> a bow tie. A voice changing bow tie. Oh, she might like that actually. Nah, this has to. No. Okay. No, no, no. I think I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her uh, the moon rock. Moon rock? It matches her hair. There you go. There you go, girl. Have this rock! Correct. Take this rock. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Does that mean she liked it? <laughs> she starts eating it. <laughs> Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Being trapped in a place like this. Uh, who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared. Being trapped in this insane Correct. school? Ah, that's good. That's good? So... Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. <sighs> Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Wrong. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. You hide? Huh. What I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you ah. are. Ah. Foolishly yes. open? I think also, to myself. <laughs> also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What, what do you mean? So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'm sorry, I don't understand your fucking edgelordness. <laughs> I have a tragic backstory. I know. I know. Ugh! She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned Goodbye. and... Goodbye. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I'm trying! I'm trying here! <laughs> Alright, well, we're just gonna know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understand her at all yet. I don't think anyone does. I don't even think she does. No. Yay, more skill points, I guess. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, nighttime. That that should have been like 15 minutes of our time. She didn't want nothing to do with us. To be fair, that was probably like the quickest free time it, well, yeah, interaction. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So she must have really hated the moon rock. That's what I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> tosses in the garbage yeah. on her way over. Thanks for this rock, loser. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yes, we know. I knew I should have given her the pumice. <laughs> yeah. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Let's get ourselves some sweet dreams in this bed. Oh, <laughs> Monaco will be are great. Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating. So. Once again, happy new day. Happy new day. Dang, that was a quick Monokuma theater. Quick everything, man. Damn. I think. You think it's a big wind up? 
I'm gonna see. I think something's gonna happen Good right now. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, because we got like two days of free time. Yeah. I better get to the dining hall. No! Huh. Hmm. Well, right. doesn't mean you won't find something at no. the dining hall. Well, that is for the next episode. Absolutely. We'll see you guys in the dining hall in the next episode. If you guys want to keep up with the channel and the rest of the series and you haven't yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also, we have a Discord and Patreon. The links are down in the description below. Give the video a like and share with all your friends. It will help us out tremendously. Always remember to look both ways before crossing the street. And when you see a girl with very white hair and like wearing a suit and wearing gloves, don't give her moon rocks because she won't appreciate it and she'll just walk away. Yeah. What an asshole. What an asshole. <laughs>